Welcome to UMetsat's Year of Ocean Colour for 2024. Here we are looking at ocean colour from a combination of satellite missions. The colour of the oceans helps us understand what's going on in terms of biological activity. This is because the ocean's colour is influenced by the presence of phytoplankton, which are microscopic plants that contain a green pigment called chlorophyll A, giving them, and the light reflected from the ocean, a green colour. At Jumetsat, we operate the Copernicus Sentinel-3 satellites, which provide ocean colour measurements. This data is provided to the Copernicus Marine Service, who combine it with other ocean colour data to create a full picture of the colour of our oceans. So, let's look at some of the features we can see in a year of this data. As on the land, the oceans have seasons. In spring, more sunlight allows phytoplankton to grow through photosynthesis. Satellites can track this growth by monitoring changes in ocean colour. When phytoplankton levels increase, the chlorophyll pigments they contain make the water look greener from space. In other regions of the world's oceans, other factors drive changes in phytoplankton activity. In upwelling regions, a combination of wind blowing a certain direction and the orientation of the coastline create a circulation where surface waters are driven offshore and cold waters rise from the depths. These deep, cold waters also contain nutrients and fertilise huge phytoplankton blooms, driving important fisheries and aquaculture industries. On the other side of southern Africa, we have the Agullus Current, where warm water flows down from the Indian to Atlantic Ocean. We can see the meanders and spiralling eddies associated with this current in the chlorophyll A concentration. Summer brings different drivers of phytoplankton blooms, and in the Baltic Sea, influences from human activities. Summer temperatures create stable conditions where phytoplankton bloom, taking advantage of the inflow of nutrients from agricultural activities on land. This can cause eutrophication and negative impacts on human and ecosystem health. The Gulf Stream, like the Agullus Current, is a western boundary current, and again we see its behaviour in the phytoplankton response. This transport of warm water has important implications for the climate of Europe. Moving south, we can see the influence that the ocean floor can have on the ocean at large. On the Patagonia shelf, we frequently see beautiful phytoplankton blooms, which result from interactions between ocean currents and the seafloor in such shelf seas. Another western boundary current can be found off the coast of Japan. This one is known as the Kurushio. These currents occur due to a combined effect of the Earth's rotation and winds and play critical roles in both climate and ocean biogeochemistry. A year of ocean colour gives us the opportunity to begin to understand how the biological activity in our ocean varies and where and why. The data from Copernicus Sentinel-3 is available every day, supporting responses to ocean events such as harmful algal blooms. Over the lifetime of the mission, which will feature two further satellites before a next generation is launched, we can understand how our oceans vary over time and try to manage them sustainably for the future. <laughs>